In this video, we are talking about the exclusive guard-gated Ruby Hill neighborhood located in Pleasanton, California. Let's get into it. What's up everybody? Welcome back and I am sorry I took a week off. I have been super busy with a bunch of stuff going on in life, but I am back here with a video on the Ruby Hill neighborhood in Pleasanton, California. And if you don't know who I am, and you haven't seen any of my videos, I am Cooper Eisenman, a full-time real estate agent here in the Tri-Valley and San Ramon Valley areas of the East Bay Area. And the cities that I focus on most is Livermore, Pleasanton, Dublin, San Ramon, Danville, and Alamo. And if you have found any value in my videos whatsoever, or you just want to be a nice person, I will ask you to please hit that like button so that my videos can reach more people who are interested in learning more about these areas in case they are planning a move here. I have been getting a ton of text calls and emails from people just like you who are interested in either selling their current home and or buying a new home in this Tri-Valley or San Ramon Valley areas and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to put my information down here at the bottom. You can reach out to me anytime that you want. I always get back to you within 15 or 20 minutes so it's super fast and super convenient. Now when it comes to Ruby Hill in Pleasanton, it is one of the most coveted neighborhoods in Pleasanton and that is because of its exclusive private 24 hour guard gated entrances as well as its Jack Nicholas designed golf course that again also is private and as well it is home to multi-million dollar properties ranging from the two million to six million dollar range. Now when it comes to the location of Ruby Hill, it is located in the corner between Vineyard Ave and Isabel Ave and it is actually in the Pleasanton city limits but one side of Ruby Hill lines along the city of Livermore. And to be honest with you, it is not the most conveniently located neighborhood as it is kind of far off the freeway, it can take you anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes and longer if you're coming from a Pleasanton city exit. Most people who live in Ruby Hill take the Isabel Avenue exit in Livermore for quicker, easier access to the entrances of Ruby Hill. But most people call it home for its high-end luxury estates, private golf course, and overall safety. Now some things you might like about Ruby Hill is its private par 72, 7400 yard Jack Nicholas designed golf course. And a little fun fact is that Ruby Hill's golf course was actually the first Jack Nicholas design golf course in Northern California. Now Ruby Hill also has a ton of other really fun things to do. They have bocce ball courts, tennis courts scattered throughout, community pools, although most of the homes here have private pools. They have a massive clubhouse for wine and dining, events, weddings. Of course, the golf course which we discussed earlier, and last but not least, the amazing real estate. Now the real estate in Ruby Hill can vary pretty greatly. On the lower end, Homes here sell for about $2 million. They're roughly in the 3,000 square foot range and they have pretty decent lot sizes around the 11,000 square feet. Now on the high end, Ruby Hill also has much bigger homes in the eight to 10,000 square foot range on much bigger lots varying between half an acre and almost one acre. Homes in this range go between four and six million. I think one of the big factors in why people choose Ruby Hill is the exclusivity of it and just how hard it really is to get in. Um, I had friends who lived in Ruby Hill growing up and getting in to get to their house is pretty difficult and when I say guard gated entrances they really do hold up to that standard and I really do have to applaud Ruby Hill for doing such a good job at keeping the residents safe and making sure that anybody who comes through the gate does have a pass with a homeowner who lives in Ruby Hill. 
So they have done an amazing job in making sure that the grounds are secure. Another thing I really like about Ruby Hill personally is that all the homes have continuity between home design, landscape maintenance, and overall appearance. I can't say that for all of the guard gated neighborhoods in the East Bay because some of them were built in the 1970s, which makes some of the homes original. Some of the neighbors have fully built brand new remodeled homes and Ruby Hill just isn't in that category as most of the homes were built in the year 2000 or newer. I always recommend Ruby Hill to my buyer clients who are in this price point if they're looking in the Pleasanton, Dublin, Livermore range. Now honestly, there are other guard gated communities in Danville, San Ramon, and the like, but if my clients are strict to the Tri-Valley area, being Pleasanton, Livermore, Dublin, then I always recommend Ruby Hill because it is a fabulous place to live. Very safe, very quiet, um, looks great, well maintained, and obviously if you're a big golfer, then that is just another box checked. If you are interested in touring Ruby Hill, let me know. I'm going to put my information down here at the bottom. Text, call, or email anytime. We can set up a time to see a property, drive around the neighborhood, see what it has to offer, and if you like it. And if you don't, then we can always explore the other guard-gated communities throughout Danville, San Ramon, and a couple more in Pleasanton. Ruby Hill is honestly a fantastic place to live, like I had mentioned before. I did spend quite a bit of time in there because I had a couple friends who lived there growing up and I absolutely loved going there. But do keep in mind, again, like I had mentioned earlier, it is kind of far off the freeway, so if that's not something you're interested in, then we may need to look at other neighborhoods. But that's it on Ruby Hill. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, see ya.